The following video is sponsored by Discussion Bar, a Chrome extension for YouTube, Netflix, and Disney Plus, allowing creators and users to chat and watch content in sync at the same time. To download it for your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the all new Nevadix Mito. This here is the very first ultimate underwater stabilization drone featuring a built-in 4K camera, four powerful thrusters, 2,000 lumen LED lights, and a quick swappable battery. So with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. All right, so this here is the case that you get. It's like this nice, almost styrofoam case with a nice handle on the top. So it allows you to go ahead and transport on the go. Now it's got a dual port uh, entry, so you can go ahead and store your products on the top as well as on the bottom based on whatever you're carrying. So let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, so you have these two locks here that just kind of clip open and then this will go ahead and slide open just like this. Now, <laughs> there is our Mito. So overall, the quality is very, very stunning. So you got this nice white and black tone, and then you almost have this almost organic kind of feel to it, including like these fins. And then you have these thrusters throughout, giving it a nice powerful feel. Now you have two thrusters on the top, and then you have these two thrusters on the side, giving it a total of four thrusting power, uh, allowing you to go ahead and move it about throughout the water. Now the big key aspect of this is the stabilization. So this thing can always counter any kind Kind of thing that gets thrown at it. So if it gets pushed, it'll automatically correct itself based on what angle you've had it. Now in terms of angle, you get that nice 4K quality camera right here on the front. This go ahead and tilt both 45 degrees up and 45 degrees down. So you can go ahead and control it via app right at the click of a button. Now you got these two bright, bright lights at a thousand lumens each. So you get that nice bright quality feel that you can go ahead and see when you're deep down in the ocean. Now you have your tether port here on the top. So it's going to connect to the cable, allowing you to go ahead and get a nice uh, wireless control feel. And then on the bottom here, you'll have this lid that will just kind of slide right open. And then you have your port for your battery. Now in terms of your battery, so this here is a two to four hour battery life based on how much you use it. So this will go ahead and slide right into place and then you go ahead and just bolt it right in, or not bolt it right in, just go ahead and clip it right in and you're ready to go. Now, other than that, you do get different, uh, looks like lenses as well. So these here are different lenses you can go ahead and put on them to get, protect the uh, 4K camera. And then you have extra propellers or extra thruster fins. I'll let you go ahead and swap them out if they do get damaged. Now you have your two ports for your battery. So this here is our battery right over here. And uh, you can go ahead and simply charge this by plug and play. So you press this button right over here, this red button. It'll tell you exactly how much life you have. So right now we have about two out of four stars. So we can go ahead and charge that and get it to a full four stars for our full four hour battery life. Now that is that side. So we just go ahead and clip it back into place. You can go ahead and flip this over and see what's on the other side. All right, so this here, you have yourselves your, almost like your tether. So this will help with the wireless communication. So this will go ahead and plug right into our uh, Mito. And then this will go like uh, essentially on the base side and you just kind of hold it onto something. Now this will help with the tether to kind of bring it back. But then again, it does have a GPS coordination system. So it will be able to come back on its own if necessary. And then we have our charger uh, port right over here. So this here is gonna be plugging into the wall and plugging directly into the battery to charge it. And then we have a variety of different USB cables. Uh, and then lastly, our control. Now the controller is pretty cool. It looks almost like an Xbox control. Uh, you have that nice quality grippy feel and then you have your buttons right over here. Uh, you have iOS and Android, so based on whatever you're using, just go ahead and switch it to that. And then you have a port on the top, which is for this connection right here. So we can go ahead and plug in our phone. So we'll go ahead and expand and just kind of place it up there. So you can go ahead and get that nice live quality feel. So the cool thing about the app is it allows you to go ahead and record and see exactly what's happening at the same time. In addition, it also has live stream capabilities. So you can go ahead and live stream online and showcase what you're seeing in real time. 
Now it does have a cor color correction field, so you can go ahead and color correct. So kind of gives you an idea exactly what comes with this whole entire kit. So definitely a nice high quality great feel and definitely is a very, very professional. Again, transportable and portable, which is always a plus. Now, with that being said, obviously we can't really take it out right now based on the conditions, but we can go ahead and try it out, perhaps in a tub, and see exactly how it plays out. So, let's go ahead and do that next and see what it's all about. So we're all set and ready to go, and we're going to try this thing out. Now, uh, we have our Mito, and then we have our buoy, we have our battery, we have our remote, and then we have our remote, uh, phone holder itself. Now, the way we're going to go ahead and do this is first, we're going to go ahead and turn on our Mito. So we're going to take our battery, make sure it's charged first by holding that on button. Looks like we're good. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of drop it into place right over here. We're going to lock in, and then just go ahead and plug it in just like this. You see the lights on, indicating that it is connected. And we'll go ahead and turn this little knob right over here. So we'll go ahead and turn it on in place. There you go. So we're gonna close that off, flip it over. Next we're gonna take our buoy and then we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Just like that. There we go. And then we're gonna take our little mounting clip right here. We're gonna mount that onto this particular hook right over here. Just like that. Then we're gonna turn on our buoy next by simply opening it up just like this and the light will indicate that it is now on and it's gonna go ahead and start connecting. Uh, so I previously mentioned that it does have a solar power panel right over here so it can go ahead and charge itself outside. And yeah, so we can go ahead and turn on our remote by simply pressing a button right over here. The lights will indicate you have iOS mode and Android mode. We'll leave it on iOS mode for now. And then we'll take our phone holder just like this and we'll plug in our phone. From there, we're gonna go ahead and take our a uh, USB cable for our iPhone, plug it into the back of the phone, and then this will go ahead and plug it directly into your phone as it works connectively like that. There you go. And we're ready to go. There you go. And the first time you do turn it on, you have to bind the controller uh, with the uh, buoy and then the Mito. So we're gonna hit connect, and this is gonna start connecting. Now it says we're connected. So we're ready to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit start diving. And this will kind of give us an idea exactly what we're seeing here. And we'll plug this into the back. There we go. So now we have our live feed of what's going on. Now, let's go ahead and put this in the tub and see what this looks like. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. We sweat and threw in the water right over here. And you can see that it does stay afloat, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Y and you'll see the turn off. So we'll go ahead and straighten itself just like that. Uh, you do see the turbines moving on the top. That's really cool. And you can go ahead and control it this way. So you just go ahead and use a left analog. You can go ahead and rotate it. You can go ahead and move forward. You can move back. And then obviously we're restricted on space, but you kind of get an idea exactly what you can do in terms of movement go. So I can go ahead and move around the tub. I can go ahead and rotate it to the left. I can go ahead and have it rotated to the right. And then let's go ahead and move back just like this. And then I can go ahead and submerge. This is down. So now we're underwater. <laughs> and then we can go ahead and bring it back up just the same way by pressing the up button. And we can go ahead and move forward underneath the water. You can go ahead and move back. You can direction yourself so you have the live feedback in terms of view goes. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and say, let's kind of rotate over here. And let's go ahead and brighten up that little yellow thing right over there by hitting D. We'll go ahead and turn on our lights. And you can see how bright this thing gets. So we can definitely go down deep and uh, find some fish down there. This is the brightest. So you can see how bright that, that camera is. That is ridiculously awesome. So look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. So we can go ahead and move around. And yes, yeah, so we can also even go ahead and angle ourselves. So let's go ahead and see if we can angle ourselves towards that boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and go forward. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate until I get that right position, like that. And I'm going to hit head and on the app here, I'll go ahead and tilt upwards, just like this. And you can see that, there we go. It'll go ahead and tilt itself based on our liking. Oh. <laughs> So obviously we don't have that much room to play with, but you can see how the way that it's it's angling itself, it's actually pretty cool. So right now it is on an angle. I can go ahead and angle it down. 
and I can angle it based on whatever direction I like, so that's kind of cool. Uh, looks like we did pick up a straggler. <laughs> so, for instance, if by any chance, you know, we can go ahead and turn it off by hitting Y underwater. I'll go ahead and re-afloat and hit Y again. We'll go ahead and turn back on and kind of go back in the same spot where it was at, which is kind of cool. So you can see that if I bring it back up to the surface, just like this. Then if I hit the angle down, you see that it'll go ahead and tilt itself based on the direction that I want it to. That's so cool when it submerges. So it kind of gives you an idea exactly how that works. I mean, it's actually really cool how it, you can go ahead and control it. So there you go. So you got that boat right there. <laughs> Uh, so I can go ahead and, you know, obviously angle it downwards, do that, I can angle upwards, now we're angled up, just right above this, the water. There's our boat. So, kind of gives you an idea exactly what you can do with it. Now, obviously the potential of this is a lot more if you have a bigger body of water, but unfortunately due to COVID, we're not able to use it just yet. But uh, hopefully in the future, I think we'll be able to go ahead and use this a little bit more uh, aggressively and uh, use it to the full power. So yeah, kind of gives you an idea what that's about. Now, if you guys had any questions about the Nevadix Mito, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.